What's up, basketball babes? It is day two of our Dallas basketball adventure. We dropped Bobby off. Uh, well, we did a lot of things this morning. She washed her uniform in the shower, but then we woke up this morning, the uniform was still wet. <laughs> so then we had to look for a laundromat. We didn't know how to use it. I, it's been a while for me, just, don't judge me. It's just been a while, I just forgot a little bit. Because this particular laundromat, it was kind of, it was cool. Um, because you go in, you can use the dryer for free if you wash your clothes there we just had her basketball shirt and shorts and we was like where do we dry this and he looked at it and i didn't know in the very back of the laundromat that those were the pay dryers and so he said he said just throw it in there so he did not charge us to dry her uniform it was 20 minutes and then we were we were out but we were still trying to put money we didn't we just didn't get it we were still trying to put money in the thing but i was like this time is not changing i don't put 75 cent it's 20 minutes for a quarter or something like that so we luckily we were able to get our 75 cents back okay and um dry the uniform so that was a great thing that happened to us first thing this morning and then um i took the girls to get a Whataburger honey butter chicken biscuit. So we dropped Bobby off, we loaded up the car, dropped Bobby off at the game because we can check out at 12. So I was like, they don't let parents in the same time that you let the players in. So I was like, why are we just gonna sit here? We did that all day yesterday. So um, her coach came to um, our room last night. We talked and you know, I was upset. My mind tells you I had it out, whatever, whatever. He's like, you gonna have Bobby at whatever game she needs to be at. <laughs> he was like, and he bought our tickets so we didn't have to stream. Um, I'm not sure if we're late. So she has a game, I think at 11.40. I think her game is 11.40, it's 11.28. We're only three minutes away from the place where she's playing. So listen, then the next game is not until like five something. So we're going to see if they'll allow her to come and shower if they have a complimentary room so she can shower. I don't know because sitting around it, <sighs> baby. So anyway, we are heading over right now and hopefully they team um, will do well. They didn't win yesterday, but they played very, very well. I think they lost other game. They were tied into the very end. So they both played really well. Even Bobby said it was a good game. So as long as she's having fun and, you know, learning some new stuff, new skills, and enjoying the game, that's all that matters to me. Say hi, Sydney. You ready to go? <laughs> you ready to go, Sydney? I'm tired. You're tired, you've been sleeping all day, and you went to bed early. All right, let's get out of here. So do you leave a tip at the hotels? I know I don't, maybe I should, but I don't. I don't leave tips, baby. Get you, we get your But I did leave this. Keeping negative people in your life will always blanket your spirit with darkness. I mean, you keep these negative people in your life, what are they adding to your life? Nothing, they're draining you, they're draining your spirit, you know? I know sometimes you have problems or stuff like that, you wanna vent, whatever, but if it's a constant thing, it, it's, it can be draining, you know? So, like I said, maybe time to purge. Reevaluate friendships. Relationships. Okay. Well, I just asked the front desk if, you know, after Bobby's game, will she be able to come back in at least shower? And um, she was so sweet, so nice, and just telling that, you know, that we spoke to them about her taking a shower, maybe an employee's lounge or the pool area. I think they have a shower. So 
So sometimes, what are they gonna say? All they can do, the worst they can do is say no, but it doesn't hurt to ask. So Bobby will be very happy to know she can shower after this game. And then we have to wait six hours before the next game. Fun, fun. Uh, what time's your game? Um, I thought it was 11.40 with Sky Rice. The 11.10. Okay, you have your ticket, your QR codes. didn't get a lot of playing time today um she doesn't need the shower although they did say she could shower so he was so sweet um that wasn't the guy who said we could shower i said well the lady said that we can you know shower but she didn't get much playing time so she just wants to change her clothes he was like sure that he brought us water that's why the mask is all we drink water um in this cool little business center kind of sort of area you just like the business center and the girls want to go see The Walking Man. We have been down there before, but they don't remember in Deep Ellum. So we have like four hours. And then there's a restaurant I want to go to. None of us are hungry, but we can get that one little dish and we can split it. Just so you know, I had it. It's, it's a loaded fries. I've done a vlog on it two years ago. But it's not like we come to Dallas often, so <laughs> we just got to squeeze it in, okay?
now 528 Bobby's team is about to start we went to the wrong location and so I had to be a little aggressive coming here just a little bit to get her here on time and this location too you have to have um, a chair so they don't I guess they're not pulling out their bleachers or whatever so we rushed here rushed here got Bobby here on time honey they hadn't even let people in because they let the people in staggered because of COVID we get a text from her and they're saying the other team's not showing up she said we get home now we go home now that's what she said bruh where's she they closed down the bleachers I guess they didn't want to do any extra cleaning that's pretty sad they just said the other team went home didn't show up I guess we are about to head home early Bobby's friend is trying to get her nose ring in for her so she put in a clear one for the game did she clean up? Did she clean her hands? Bobby's first game ended at like 12, 12 10. We could have been home. We could have been home. I mean, it could have been a wrap. So it is now. 5.35. We probably won't get home to 9 o'clock at night. You see, this is a whole bunch of wasted time. This team not showing up. That was just inconsiderate. They should have just at least called Coach Cap to tell him that they weren't going to show up. What did Coach Cap say? He said he was mad. He was... Um, he said he was madder than us or our parents would be because, I don't know, she was just, that's just, that was just rude because we waited around for a long time and we could have been home by now, so, well, everybody could. Yeah. 